Okay, guys, so Tall Brothers announcing earnings after hours, February 20th, 2024. Uh, guys, it's a no-brainer. The stock is going to drop. Uh, it's got a very well-defined tornado pattern. Um, it's, it's very similar to the one we pointed out on ticker CAR. Okay, you know what happened. We've This is probably one of the... Uh, top five shorts we've had uh, so far in 2024 okay so we called it at 174 172 area right before uh, Avis budget car collapses close to 100 bucks so I'm not saying that TOL Tall Brothers is going to do the same thing what I am saying is the pattern uh, that that we're looking at now on Tall Brothers highly resembles that of CAR so uh, needless to say, it's got a high probability of reversing. No, we don't have a, a historic, uh, historically big moves on Tall Brothers. So we do have some momentum in which it engaged since November 6, right? You see a, a lot of gap up, gap up, another gap up, another gap up. And so far in uh, since this is basically the beginning of the year we've had nothing but a gap down a gap down a gap down but those gap downs have been rather uh limited to the downside so i think we're going to get a real gap up and we could get an expansion of the move on tol brothers it's going to be similar to dhi remember if you were trading earnings with us uh just a couple of weeks ago this was the move expansion on dhi which is in a way a competitor to tol we think however tol can take a much bigger hit than dhi because well generally the the target is slightly different uh, uh markets and generally tol toll brothers homes are a little pricier so and the pricier homes are the one that are being impacted the most Okay, they're going to have, uh, uh, because the rates or the rates staying at the same level for longer, uh, it's TOL that's going to get damaged a lot more than DHI Horton or KBH homes, which is just basically your bread and butter type home. They don't build any super expensive homes. So TOL will get hit, in our view, much harder than DHI Horton. And considering that this was a 20x trade, I'm not ruling out a possibility of a 20x plus trade on TOL despite of the fact that it basically has done nothing over the course of the last couple of weeks. Within that, poss possibly lies an opportunity for a move expansion. Again, a move expansion, if we're to compare it to the DHI move, I mean, there's a possibility of a 10, 15, 20 point drop here. I think a lot of market participants are asleep on this one, on accumulation distribution. We have a ton of people who still come and sell. So uh, be ready. This could, I mean, this, two white candles right here we can get similar candles but to the downside and if we're to measure the size of those candles i mean two days we're looking for a possibility of a 15 point drop now we could get a total wipeout on this one despite of probably when after it reports it may not there may not be like an immediate reaction so we're going to see a way bigger drop on this tomorrow but the beginning of the drop is going to commence uh, tonight after 4 p.m so ideally you want to split your position you'll buy some puts ahead of the earnings report you want to add some puts in this name tomorrow uh there's a ton of bear divergences as far as rsi versus the price action uh all the big days when the stock has actually uh been uh, dropping even though the move has been limited to the downside but the volume has been increasing in relation to the buy volume in those days guys so there's many many interesting uh chart uh variations here uh that we could get uh to the downside and mainly it's just hey there's 90 percent probability this shit is going to drop okay the question is by how much and will the entire drop come in one big uh, top of drop as we've seen in case with dhi or will it be a sequence of two or three day drops consecutively which basically determined in that allows you to stay in the position long enough to maximize your profits but in either case okay based off what we've seen in the housing industry uh, there's more and more inventory coming uh, in the market and there's going to be more and more inventory coming in the market in the higher priced range homes. So therefore, Toll Brothers, the future doesn't look as bright as it used to be. And this is probably, I would say with a 99% probability that this is the ultimate top for TOL Brothers uh, shares. Uh, we're probably going to see over the course of the next five years. So from here, it's going to slide. It's got, I mean, the housing sector is going to shit. And for some reason, 
everyone's ignoring what happened to DHI and they still pump in some stocks in uh, home construction, but most of them, I mean, it is clear, okay? This is a big middle finger action right here. It's telling you, hey, this chart is fucked, okay? And anybody that's gonna buy calls on this, they will get fucked. So the easiest path to make the money right now is short to bounces, Toll Brothers at all time highs is an easy target for a short seller, okay? Considering the macro conditions, considering the chart uh, and what we're seeing on the chart, expect a resemblance of this move right here we've seen on DHY. Uh, on, on ticker TOL. Guys, if you have any questions about short and TOL, strikes, prices, expirations, guys, all of these small ingredients make a huge impact on the way your trade goes. So make sure to be able to put together 10x, 20x type trade on this. Uh, contact 13 Market Moves by going to 13mmtv.com or 13marketmoves.com. Uh, click the big orange button. Let's roll. This could be a huge trade for you next week. Don't miss it.